Previously on Sports Science, heavyweight champion boxer Chris Bird became a hero to countless athletes when he proved that sex before sports actually helps athletic performance. But that was a male athlete, and there certainly are differences between men and women. And no one knows exactly how pre-sport sex affects female performance. But now, it's time to test a woman. We've got a female boxer willing to take her gloves off and everything else to test how a little lovin' will affect her power in the ring. Once again, we turn to the sweet science. And stepping into the ring is one of the most promising female boxers in the world, Liz Parr. Liz recently joined the pro ranks after she won four national amateur boxing championships. Knowing the myth, since you first start, you just don't even bother. No sex before a fight. I want to know if the myth is real or if it's just a myth. In terms of this being a myth, it sounds to me like it's pretty concrete in your brain, like it goes beyond being a myth. It kind of does because you're told since day one. It stays in your mind throughout your career. One guy who hates the fact that Liz still believes the myth is Liz's trainer and husband, Yaz Parr. Just before the fight, Liz just cuts it off and it's a nightmare, it's hard. Clearly, Yaz has a conflict of interest. As Liz's trainer, he wants her on top of her game. But as her husband, he wants her on top of him. But the night before a fight, Liz always keeps her eyes on the prize. Everything I heard, I believed, because anything that can hurt your performance, you just want to stay away from, because you don't want to get beat up. So does sex affect a female athlete differently? We'll start by testing Liz's baseline skills. We're ready. Dr. Cindy Burr measures the maximum power of one of Liz's punches. at a walloping 632 pounds of force. To test her anaerobic endurance, Liz hits the stationary bike and goes all out for three minutes, <gasps> the length of a boxing round. Come on, Liz, let's go, push it. Her heart rate peaks at 174 beats per minute. <sighs> three, two, <sighs> one. Next, We'll measure Liz's hand speed. We're gonna give you 30 seconds to hit our crash test dummy as many times as you can. Okay. Go. In just 30 seconds, Liz pounds the crash test dummy an astonishing 155 times. That's five punches every second. Job. <laughs> Our final measurement will reveal exactly what's happening inside Liz's body. We're gonna be taking your blood now. Okay. So that we can get all of the readings before you have sex. Okay. After you have sex, you're gonna come back, we're gonna take your blood again. Correct. Last season, we learned that Chris Bird's testosterone increased after sex, boosting his athletic performance. But will Liz be affected the same way? You have to achieve an orgasm in order for this test to really work. Only once. <laughs> now, it's time for the main event. Liz and her husband are ready to square off between the sheets. But deep down, Liz still wants to believe in a myth we've already debunked, at least for male athletes. I think that the test is gonna go 
to prove that there is some truth to that myth. I'm kind of leaning towards the myth. Can the no sex before the big game myth be KO'd for women? Okay, I'll see you in two hours, man. Let's go.